All right, so we've all seen those crayon art, melty crayon things, or you've seen people where they take crayons and they, they'll melt them down into an actual burning candle. Oh, goody. This is going to take forever. So I thought maybe we could take that to another level and actually use crayons to make a blank that we can then work on either on the lathe or on the bandsaw. Oh, I love it when they stick like that. That's my favorite part. That's the best part. Get off of there. Whose dumb idea was this? Oh, wait. Break some of these up and put them into paper Dixie cups. And what I've got is I've got a Tupperware as my mold. I've got a bucket full of ice. All right, let's get going. Mmm, coffee's a little cold. Ah, oh, much better. I'm surprised how well the paper cups are holding up. Well, that doesn't cover very much. I've got two distinct layers and almost no thickness. Uh, let's get to melting more crayons. All right, it is working this way, but I feel like it's a little slow. I came to the house and asked if she had any, my wife had any silicone molds, and she did, and she's actually used them in the past for making crayons. Hasn't used them for a couple years, so I stole them for the workshop. All right, so it's continuing, I'm continuing to build this up. It's getting thicker and thicker here. I'm trying to make this process a bit more efficient, I'm using my toaster oven. And while that's going, I can continue to cut up crayons. A process that I will be dreaming about tonight. That's uh, four packs so far. Four packs of crayons. Some sort of weird addiction. How many, how many packs of crayons do you use a day? Ah, uh, four packs. I just, I need to cut back, I don't know. I mean, it just started with one pack a day and now it's just, uh, it's out of control. It's just out of control. All right, last pour of the day. I'll just pour. It's extremely hot to hold. I'm, um, I'm gonna let this sit overnight. We'll see if tomorrow if it's all hardened. The next day. Oh, that's nice. Comes easily out of the mold. It's hard to tell if those layers are all, looks like we've got a crack running through it. Well, I'm glad I didn't rush over to the lathe with it. I picked it up off camera to um, think about it. It's split in half, so. <laughs> that's a little disconcerting. I'm a little less hopeful than I was last night, that's for sure. I'm certainly not putting this on the lathe. Just a crumbly mess. The layers are not sticking to each other, and I'm I'm not even sure why. Seems like they should. Okay, so that's not working. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be what I want. The reason I did it in layers like this is that I didn't want it to all mix together and become some nasty color. But it's clearly not gonna work like this. So I went out and bought a non-stick bread pan and um, you know, we're just gonna put these in here and hope for the best, I guess. All right, the big piece won't quite fit, so I'm gonna cut it up on the bandsaw. I'm gonna put this into the um, toaster oven with the rest of the bits. So there it is, full days for the work. 
all melting back down. Will it be usable? Will it be pretty? I have no idea. Will it all just be one big nasty color? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out.